Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elric. It's all the tech all the time here on Tech of Tomorrow. And if I'm here and you're here, then it's our time, isn't it? Now, who else has said this? Who's an old school person who knows who said that? I'll give you a, a hint. Uh, that's a hint. All right, you got your hint there. So anyways, check it out. Today, we're going to take a look at a brand new product from the people over at Thermaltake. That's right. This is the Big Type Revo featuring five heat pipes. 160 watts, a single 120 millimeter downward blowing fan, and works with both AMD and Intel, even the LGA 2011. So that's a pretty good product. It's supposed to be, you know, basically somebody just wants to replace their heat sink, but doesn't look for the greatest, greatest thing in the world. And there's like only 40 bucks and only to 160 watts. So the higher end CPUs aren't gonna cool very well with this. So it's a middle level product, priced at 40 bucks. So there we go. Now let's jump in and check out the unboxing. All right, folks, so here we have, obviously, the front of the box, like any good unboxing. Supports 160 watts, five heat pipes, Intel LGA 2011 by Thermaltake, obviously. You guys can see a picture of the little unit right there. We'll flip it around. This is nothing really too interesting, just a bunch of things and a bunch of languages. All right, and onward we go, folks. Here's a halfway decent box picture because in the back here you can see a bunch of different shots of the product and all that stuff. So if you were someone walking around the mall and wanted to buy one, you could at least take a look at what comes in the box without actually having to tear it apart. Pretty good. Your own self unboxing in the mall. Think about it. Ooh. All right. Flip it around. Here's the last. Shows the specifications. All the way down, it's compatibility. The fan, about three pounds, you can see that. All right then, now let's unbox this damn thing. So we're gonna pop the little lid right here, open it up. On the top here, we can see all the paperwork. Their warranty guide is right here. Next up, instruction manual one. And then instruction manual two. Moving along, we have some uh, stuff right here. So we'll just go ahead and take this, turn it upside down, and out of the box it comes, throw the box at the cameraman, and away it goes. All right, then. So here we go. Pop the top here. Let's see it out of the box. So, all right, let's check it out, folks. Start off from the bottom right here. This is the part that's going to hook up and be placed onto your CPU. Got the little warning sticker here. You guys can see all of the copper heat pipes radiating away from here. There's five of them, as we said before. No thermal paste on this, so you'll be applying your own, which I prefer anyways. I don't like it when things come with thermal paste. That just kind of, to me, implies cheap. So here we see all the heat fins. These are all made of aluminum. This thing's actually very, very lightweight. Here you see these single, 120 millimeter fan. It blows downward, cooling the area around the ZIF socket and the CPU itself. Right here, we have a single power header. Now let's just get some close-up shots. We'll get the camera to focus on an area over here. So we'll just start right here. Here's one shot right here, the front and the fan. Okay, side view. There's little connections right here. If you want to remove this fan and add your own, you could also do that if you so choose. Here we can see all of the copper heat pipes coming out through the very side of it. Show you lastly the other side. And then just once again, we'll show you the bottom so that we just get everything for anybody who happens to just miss it. All right, so there you have it, folks. Now, one thing that this will be really good for, any of the aftermarket ones that you get are going to be usually 10 times better than those little ones you get inside of a package. Maybe not 10 times, to be fair, but they work better. They usually last longer. One of the big failings I've seen with any of them from Intel or AMD is the fans usually go out very, very fast, and you're needing to replace it. So why even screw with it? Only if you're building a system and you know you're only going to have it like a year or so, you're on a really heavy budget, do you usually want to use the included one that comes inside the box. This one you can replace, 
it's 40 bucks, very lightweight, means it's not gonna have any stress on your board or pulling off your motherboard. So that's always a good thing. 40 bucks is a good price. Those of you guys, I like to hear you guys' comments. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my CPU and then we'll see how it cools. I know you guys have been asking for a bunch of reviews, so watch tomorrow, we're gonna have a review. That's right, your favorite thing with benchmarks and the benchmark song going on, it's back, rock and roll. So anyways, make sure you show me that love and hit that like button. And anyways, make sure you subscribe because the 70K contest is almost up and that means lots of prizes for you rocking folks. See you later.